gamers, this is DNH, and welcome back to Skyblock Quick Carpet. So, uh, I am back. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't post last week, I know. Uh, you know, blah, 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 same stuff I always talk about. Why don't I not talk about it this time? So I finished uh, going behind here uh, with the thing. Oh, yeah, and I also built that. Um, but, you know, I added the, I added grass to this, although probably, I haven't added the flowers yet. I'll probably put flowers there. And then, um, <clears throat> you know, maybe wheat uh, right here kind of on some of these things, uh, built up to this. Um, yeah. You know. Yeah, barn. Oh, <laughs> let me show you the barn. Uh, and obviously it's not completely, completely done, although I'm happy with how it's coming out so far. So, um, uh, oh, I also have animals. So I had that, uh, that, uh, cow that was over there. I brought him, uh, over here. Um, I'll just go in through the door. Why not? Um, I brought him over here and then I had a couple of chickens spawn over there. Uh, and I killed them because I, I said I'm just going to probably bring eggs over. And then I had uh, two sheep uh, and one pig. So I need one more cow and one more pig uh, for this. And then over there right now, there are two sheep and two horses. Um, I haven't talked about horses yet, so I don't really envision horses being part. Well, let, uh, I'll, I'll get there. I'll get there. So here is the barn. Now, I always have had kind of a red barn thing. Um, uh, you know, I don't know, uh, and particularly because this is a petting zoo, I wanted to make it a little cartoonish, so red barn, white trim, uh, and I used the birch wood, but I did do a roof that was kind of uh, dual colored, and then I did this offshoot, which was more of a natural wood offshoot. This is eventually going to be, so here's kind of going to be the entrance way. You see the path that I made. I'm going to kind of make a path up here. I'm going to kind of make a path from over here all leading up to this side door uh, on the barn right here. And, uh, you know, you'll come in and there'll be some stuff going on in here. And I haven't really done anything on the in here part. And then for these, uh, I mean, they don't really move. I just kind of acted like one of them's partially open. This one's completely closed. And then on the other side, actually, that one's that one's a little open also. And then this one's even more open than this one. So there's more room over there. And then out here, uh, it's going to be separated. I'm going to put fencing through here. Well, like iron fence and then um, glass, kind of like over there. I'll sh I don't know if you saw that, but anyway. Um, and then uh, so this will be separated and then this will be a big field for sheep. Um, I will punch a hole through there and make kind of a pig pen thing um, out over here for pigs. There's nothing here right yet. Um, and then coming out here will be another big field uh, although it will be more flat, probably, than that. There will be more changes in elevation in that one. And then this one will have cows. And then you can see the pad for the um, that's over in the mushroom biome. So I will spawn some mushrooms. And I don't know if I'll bring them kind of closer to here. I'm not going to mix them in with the uh, other cows necessarily. But um, I'll, I'll connect that somehow. I haven't completely decided yet. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, and then the, the fence right here, like I said, will be separated with, uh, with, um, iron and glass on the top, so like this one is here, um, I, uh, so it's iron and then a glass view, and then there are pillars here, now, honestly, I would like to do the stone fence more than the, than the pillars, but, uh, this is 1. Uh, 1.15, I guess. Uh, and if you do a stone fence next to glass, they don't connect. Um, they do in 1.16. So, uh, and it seems like most everything in this uh, in this pack is 1.16 now. So I might try upgrading uh, to 1.16. In the pack, uh, I don't know. It, it, the problem is that it hasn't really seemed like there, like in the in the quick carpet stuff, that there's been a way to get some of the 1.16 items, like the uh, well, all the nether stuff, like the the vines and the whatever. Although you can, it would be bring the piglins up. So maybe you can trade them for that stuff. I don't know. Um, I have to look into it a little bit more. I might upgrade. Maybe right after I finish this, uh, this entire petting zoo thing, and then I might redo these where where it's uh, fencing instead of the pillars. But anyway, 
Um, and then, yeah, I, I cut this down and eventually this will look like that, uh, basically, um, on this side. And, and then this will be a closed petting zoo with a chicken thing. And then I'll have something over here connecting this up to the, uh, to the kind of where the cows are and whatever. But, um, yeah, so, um, that's where I'm at. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm really happy with how that's turning out so far, um, and I've, of course, been uh, time-lapse recording that, but I haven't put up a time-lapse yet. Um, I'll probably put one up once I'm done with this, again, this petting zoo kind of area, um, which is filling out the sheep, filling out the pigs, filling out the, the cows. Uh, and, and maybe the um, maybe the mushroom area. I don't know. So you saw that I have some fences and some um, ropes. So... I don't envision the horses really being part of the petting zoo. I will have horses in the zoo. Uh, and I just, I haven't completely decided what I'm going to do with them. Maybe they're just going to roam around a field. Like the cows, I'm going to have in the petting zoo. But then I might also have another area somewhere where it's like, oh, wild cows and just kind of a field with cows in it. And horses would probably be part of that too. But I don't know if I'm also going to have a riding area or whatever, uh, like a like a stables or something like that. Um, there were uh, two sheep over here, <laughs> so I don't know if he fell off or uh, if it just wandered way far or despawned or I have no idea. Um, so I, I'm not going to move the horses over to the petting zoo. Uh, and I did kill the chickens, and I'm just killing this sheep right here. Um, or maybe there were two sheep I already killed. Maybe that was another one that spawned. Huh. No, maybe there were two sheep I already killed, and that was another one that spawned. Okay. And the two chickens. Uh, okay, fair enough. <clears throat> so, um, I, I, I don't want... Uh, so I'm not going to use them in the petting zoo. And... Um, However, I, I don't really want to kill them right now. Uh, one reason is that they make horrifying noises when, the, when you kill them. <laughs> Thanks, Mojang. But another reason is that I, I'm not saying they're hard to spawn. I don't really know their spawn rates, but I, I mean, they, they obviously have different spots and colors and whatever. Uh, and so, oh yeah, can you do a, uh, oh, you can do a lead. It's just taming them. That might be weird. Okay. Um, but I don't want them just standing here. Yeesh, dude. Don't don't fall off, okay? Uh, this might not work out. But uh, I don't want them just standing there because um, I want to spawn the other cow and other pig I need. Um, so I am going to take them uh further out and i guess i'm probably going to take them to the desert platform that i have because i hadn't showed you the desert platform anyway i mean it's just a cobblestone platform there's nothing to really show you but um <clears throat> that's pretty far away and i kind of need to start seeing if dude did it break son of a okay um okay come on buddies all right uh, I mean, I could try leaving them here, but I kind of want to put them far away because I kind of want to make sure that uh, that I can spawn things on these other pads and they're not interfering with the one pads. And um, and, and so I'm just going to try pulling these guys way out there and uh, fencing them in uh, on that on that cobblestone platform for later use. So uh, still coming. Good. Haven't fallen off yet. They're being smart about it. I, I did think about that when I was moving the cows and the pigs and stuff over. Uh, and I, I mean, I guess if he felt they fell off, it's not like the worst thing in the world, but um, whatever. Uh, so, um, I, but I did kind of think about that when I was moving them over to the other area, but they went over fine too. I guess they're pretty smart and don't uh, don't fall off of uh, cliff faces. So good, good programming on them. Good AI. But yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, uh, I'm progressing things pretty nicely. I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, you know, um, like I said, I did miss a week, but that's okay. I, I and honestly, and I'm going to level with you, that might happen more often, uh, just because other, you know, uh, there's more things going on in my life right now. And so, um, you know, I might, I just might not have a lot of time to record or a lot of time to do stuff. I've obviously had some time on here to build some things and I've been trying to progress that, but, um, yeah. That's just kind of uh, just kind of where we at. So fair warning, 
uh, you know, there might be time between, um, you know, I, I might skip a week here or there. I'm going to try to do my best. I always do because, hey, I like um, getting content out there, too. Um, I'm really excited about these projects in Skyblock. I'm really excited about doing that. I also missed last week on my classic gaming um, uh, series. So um, and and this is a really awesome time for that. If you're at all into classic gaming, I just finished the Colonel's Bequest, which is an amazing game. And I'm about to start Heroes Quest. Oh, actually, Quest for Glory one. Um, I'm always going to call it Heroes Quest, probably because that's what I played it as and knew it as. But um, uh, you guys are still with me, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, so uh, just a great time in uh, in that uh, parser based point and click adventure game time in which I am participating. Uh, blah blah blah. So okay, um, let's just build this enclosure. Uh, no, no, no. E. Okay, so boom and boom. Okay, perfect. Yep. I don't know how rare any of the, like, the spotted one looks kind of cool, I guess, and I don't know how rare, and I'm not gonna necessarily tame them right now to kind of, like, see their stats or whatever. Um... Also, I don't know if you can get saddles in Skyblock. That's a nut. Yeah, hi, guys. Uh, that's another interesting thing because um, let's see if I do. Uh, this was the um, this was the desert, right? Yeah, desert. OK, um, uh, so uh, sorry, I'd I'd forgotten for a second. I thought it, I was pretty sure it was. But um, I don't know if uh, if you can get saddles in um Skyblock, so that uh, that might be interesting. And uh, like I said about the one point one six, like, um, I don't have uh, you know, I I don't know that that adds generically within Skyblock a way to get some of the new materials that are in the Nether, like uh, like what is it, basalt? Uh, no, well, yeah, basalt, uh, you know, or 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 that type of dark cobblestone, or um. What the ancient debris? I, I don't know if there's a way to get any of that within Skyblock. I don't think that there really is, and I don't know if Quick Carpet has added any of that stuff. Um, but obviously, there's a lot of things within this that I can't really get. I can't really get clay within this version of Skyblock, and um, that was kind of a, a hindrance on the barn. Like the barn is made predominantly out of red concrete, um, which is fine, and actually, I think it looks good. I think it's an appropriate color, but um, you know, if I had more options in relation to clay and whatever, I might make different choices. And it really comes down to kind of, uh, you know, I I want to find more ways of getting stuff. Obviously, I couldn't get an enchanting table. And in part, you might say, well, that's part of Skyblock, right? Is that you're limited on some things, and so you just have to kind of make do. And in part, that's true, but also, like... I have this big automatic gobblestone generator and blah, blah, blah. I mean, I feel like I feel like half of Skyblock is maybe the limitations, particularly early with resources. And I'm kind of past that. Um, and, you know, then there is the long term limitations, limitations on certain resources like diamond or whatever. Uh, and then half of it is just building or doing things that are dangerous all the time just because there's open void almost always around you unless you build up large areas, right? And so, I don't know, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to balance some of those things, but also, like, partially this is a building series, right? And I'm already not the most creative when it comes to color palettes or changing designs or whatever. Like, look at this dumb thing. I've already talked about not being terribly happy with this and I'm going to and I'm going to work on it. OK, uh, but I was happy with the barn and, and I built that within some limitations, although I would have maybe made some different decisions. But um, <clears throat> I don't know. I, I also just feel like, uh, you know, maybe I there should be ways to get <clears throat> other resources on this pack. But um, <clears throat> I'll have to look into it because I what I don't want is I don't want 
this to feel like modded Minecraft, right? I don't want to just say, oh, let me add sieves and, and things and whatever, and, and, and like like a uh, agrarian skies or whatever, and just be like, oh, okay, well, then you have access to every single thing, and then you can build this automatic generator, which just, you know, throws everything in an ME storage system, and then you have, you know you do nothing for five days and you open it up and, oh, I have a hundred thousand uh, clay blocks. And, you know, I, like, I don't want that. Like, I, I don't mind putting in work and you wouldn't believe how much mindless killing of silverfish I've done to try to get enough dirt to start to fill this in. Like, I mean, looking at this, this is going to go basically all the way over to probably here, right? I'm going to extend this all the way over to probably right here, and this is going to start going out. And then this is just going to be a huge field, and it's going to be full of grass, basically, for the sheep. And it's going to be, I'm going to change elevations probably pretty frequently, try to make it look like rolling hills and whatever. But that's a lot of area that I have to cover. And so you come over here, and... Um, like, I had to spend a ton of time at the silverfish farm. Killing silverfish, I have now this, all of this dirt. Uh, I have, that's stone. I have all of this dirt. I have some grass that I put out. And then I have all of this gravel remaining. And uh, I'm probably still going to have to go and get more, um, uh, and get more uh, 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 gravel and make more dirt and stuff like that. It's just, it's that uh, difficult. Uh, was that in there? I think that was in here. Um, yeah, chickens, and is there wool in here? Maybe I didn't kill the other sheep. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe one of them despawned. Well, whatever. It doesn't really matter. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, I, I don't know. I Look, this is... I, I'm going to do the series how I want to do it because I want a world that's, that's how I want it to look. And I, I do consider limitations on clay. I have I had considered um, seeing how difficult it was to write the data pack or or uh, whatever to modify quick carpet or whatever, so that like um, the drowned drop clay, and um, uh, and I don't know. And I know that the, there's Skyblock Four or whatever that Doctor Trog or, or whatever does does a lot of data pack modification, so that I think drown do drop clay and i think the husks drop sand and stuff so i've considered doing some of that um within this and obviously if i add to 1.116 the piglins uh you know I, if they trade all kinds of nether things like if i modify their trades to trade um i think they already trade quartz but maybe to start trading um Oh, I don't know what what the uh, the other, uh, you know, nether stuff is, the the vines or the fungus or the whatever. Um, I haven't played a lot on 1.116 yet, but uh, but yeah. Um, and, and partially, uh, too, I was trying to play some on 1.116 just because I'm trying to get a feel for how how prevalent something like that is. Um, I'd really like Skyblock resource wise to be. You know, if something's very prevalent in vanilla Minecraft, it should be relatively easy to get. For example, I still think dirt is kind of hard to get. And I thought about, well, I, I have a lot of things I could compost. And actually, again, in Dr. Trogs, I think if you fill up a composter, you get dirt blocks out of it. But at the same time, that really starts to impact the early game because you could very quickly get a composter, very quickly have things to compost and just start making large amounts of dirt within a very early time. In this one, having to go and grind gravel out of a silverfish spawner that's a thousand plus blocks away, I mean, I wouldn't say that was too late game. I, I was there pretty quickly, I think in episode four or something in my Let's Play, but it was a little bit harder than it would have been generically. So, I don't know. I mean, I, you still have danger. I've died like 86 times, I think, I, and I've died once or twice else since then by falling off while placing blocks and and whatever. But um, uh, but yeah, I don't know. That's just me ranting. Uh, uh but, well, but also me talking about, you know, where I'm going with this, uh, this Let's Play and uh, this world and everything else um, that's there. So I thank you for joining me. That I am going to go. As always, gamers, have a good evening, day, and night. Minecraft, time lapse, bob traps, world maps, cat naps, rap tracks, perhaps. You'll tune in and watch the hijinks, and if you like, click the up and subscribe links.